Hi everybody, Mike Morello from CBSI's Cover Tunes with a special video Cover Tunes for this week. I was fortunate enough to go to Heroes Con in North Carolina just this past weekend and was able to sit down with a couple of creators, a couple of my favorites, um, and I know there are a couple of your favorites as well. For this episode, um, I was able to sit back down with Jenny Frizen. Um, if you remember, we did a interview together a year ago in Memphis, and so this is sort of a catch-up session, part two, um, where we talk about what's new um, with her art, with uh, future plans, some of the things she's accomplished over the last year, and as always, she was great to sit down with. She's super sweet and nice and great to fans. She'll sign almost anything that you put in front of her. She does it for free. Um, and she's obviously gotten really, really popular over the last year or two. So she's getting hotter and hotter. Uh, and it is uh, always a pleasure to sit down with Jenny. So without any further pomp and circumstance, here is Jenny Frizen and myself at Heroes Con 2019 on day three. Please forgive us both. We're both a little on the tired side. So we're a little, we're a little jumpy here and there. But I uh, hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Jenny Frizen, again, for part two. Uh, we are here um, at Heroes Con Day 3. I'm sure everyone's a little on the tired side, but we are... Oh my God, so tired. Just catching up. Um, so we spoke a year ago. I go well, not quite a year ago in Memphis. In Memphis. And some things have happened since then. You took a break from Wonder Woman and did a lot of other stuff. I didn't actually take a break. Um, so okay. awesome. I was turning in covers just in time for them to go to print. And they wanted me to turn them in in time for the solicitation catalog, which is like three months before the book comes out. Right. So they just skipped me ahead. Oh, I see. So I, I might have had like uh, two weeks off. Oh, okay. Oh, but they so were you just never like, really stopped working. no, they were just like, pick a number and we're just going to, that's why it's 70. They were like, we're going to just have you skip to that issue. That makes sense. So I didn't actually stop working, but I skipped several issues. And uh, based on your Instagram, looks like you have a couple of cool things coming up. There's a Scarlet Witch I think I saw on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You're not going to spill anything? No, <laughs> I, I'm not. I don't know what is, I don't, it might not even be like surprise stuff. I just, until a company sure. like debuts or yeah. whatever, I usually just don't say anything. But I've been working nonstop, so I was like, I'm just going to post some teasers of some things I've drawn. Awesome. Are there any future things that you can tell us about that is allowed? I don't know. No oh. one really tells me what <laughs> to say, so I'm not going to chance it. Okay. Very cool. Uh, I'm drawing lots of things. I get I've it. been working literally almost nonstop, and, and you, I'm um, losing my mind. Foreseeable future for Wonder Woman, or do you not? You don't know. I don't know. You know. <laughs> I do know. I'm not going to tell you. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. How are the pets? So good. Uh, egg is the best. She's our dog. She's a good egg. Um, you can see photos of her on Instagram. Hashtag egg the wonder pup. Uh, she's super smart and scared of everything and we love her. And then we have two cats and they just mostly like barf and ruin things. But they, we, we still have, love them. We had a long discussion about cat. cat cat's barfing. It's, you know, it's getting warmer, so there's been a lot of hairballs. Um, and maybe we bought them the wrong food because I feel like there's more hairballs than usual. Yeah. So. Yeah, the wampa is still shitting in the sink. Oh. But we have a baby now. <laughs> oh. So he's protecting the baby now. So, oh, so that's that. kind of nice. Hey, congratulations. You. you had a lot of things happen. I did. Yeah. That's I awesome. No one cares about what I have. I do. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, that's boy or girl? A boy. Oh, what's yeah. his name? Alexander. Oh. Alexander Amadeo. Oh, very kingly name. Well, well, yeah. But we figure we give him something cool if he wants to use that. He can. If he thinks he's going to get made, of, made fun of for it, he can just be like... Nah. I wish my parents had done that. Uh, my mom named me Jennifer because her favorite movie is Camelot. And King Arthur's nickname for Guinevere was Jenny. But she said, I was afraid you'd get made fun of if we named you Guinevere, so we just named you Jennifer. Right. Guinevere would and I'm like, Guinevere would have been so cool. Also, cool. I was born in the 80s. Literally everybody is named Jennifer. Yeah. So it would have been nice to be a little bit different. And you could have just been Gwen. Yeah. And then in the comic book world, yeah. Gwen is obviously... That would have worked. I feel accept, like I could, I could be a Gwen. You had a statue. I did have a statue, Since yeah. Last we spoke. I think I made it way before we spoke, but right. um, they released or announced it. But couldn't tell me yeah, because she doesn't ever tell. I don't ever secrets. tell. I just don't want to screw things up. I don't know what <laughs> secrets. Um, all right. 
favorite new artist that you've discovered since last time oh, we spoke? Oh, I haven't discov discovered her since last we spoke, but I've never met. Uh, yeah, I did. Actually, I did discover her since we last she spoke. Is Faye Dalton. Unbelievable. Faye Dalton. <coughs> Sorry, I just I um, interrupted your answer with but the answer. But I only just met her this weekend is Tula Lote is like my favorite artist. Uh, and I told her that when I met her. I was like, you're my yeah. favorite artist. I have like all of these feelings of awe and jealousy and you're so amazing. And she's just like super charming and sweet. And you had mentioned her, I think in passing, the last time last spoke. Time but you hadn't met her? Oh, we bought an original from her and both, both me and my husband have just been like staring at it forever. Yeah. It's just the most beautiful face. I love everything well, about it. she's not in the States, right? So she's not around very often. Yeah, so I've never met her before. And but Vanessa Del Rey too, I met her. I met her. She's, she's really, amazing. Really cool her stuff. originals are outstanding. I know, I think that might be my last purchase for the day. I think you should. There, that's a good, somebody. that's a good buy. She's got some good stuff. Really yeah. cool style. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what else do I have down here? I'm sure there's other stuff. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You know? ah, do you feel like your art has changed at all in the last year or two? No, I don't know. Maybe it hasn't. Any new approaches? Um, no. Uh, I have done a few. I am trying to remember when things happened in my life. I've done a few screen prints mm -hmm. since we last spoke, I believe. The Medallic one. The one. Yeah. Um, and then. Uh, uh, this, oh, these Wonder Woman ones I did. Yes. Um, and I guess the process sort of for those is very different because the way screen printing works is uh, each color has its own, the image burned into a screen and then they screen the ink through the silk screen. Right. Um, so you really have to minimize the amount of colors you use if you're doing like traditional, right. if not four color printing. A lot of greens in that one if I remember right. Yep. Um, which, that it, that's the other thing is it's kind of an experiment because you can design it on the computer what colors you want to use, but the way colors will interact with each other in ink form is way different than they will they will you know like yeah you just don't know the opacity and so that one when I uh, designed it was like sort of a purple and pink um, like pastel turquoise thing and it came like very green which was really cool it was like hot pink. And green, yeah, and turned out really rad. But like, you just sort of a happy accident. You don't yeah, know what you're gonna get. Um, but so that was really fun, and I have sort of enjoyed. Uh, you can see some of my originals here. I still did the um, the process of creating this the art. Is incredible. Thanks. That's really awesome. Uh, the process of creating the art, I still did the same for all of the screen, screen prints. But then when I came to coloring it, I just had to limit it to three. Or I think I ended up six colors for these. Yeah. Um, and maybe six colors for the screen, the Metallica poster. Right. And they but, did a second version of it. Too, yeah, they did. It sold out instantaneously. Yeah, really um, so they did a second colorway without the metallic logo on it. Right. I think that one's still available online. Which I, yes. I they made a bigger print run. A couple of weeks ago I checked it was still. I had a couple here, um, which they sold out right away. Yeah, I imagine so. It was very, very good. Um, you've done some, you did a Stranger Things cover. Yeah. Another Hex Wives cover. I did. Which was fantastic. Thanks. Um, the Batman Who Laughs, a Buffy cover. Mm-hmm. Blackbird cover. Mm-hmm. Grumble cover. Mm-hmm. No, Grumble Black, was the best. The Blackbird cover with the, <laughs> the diamond nipple one. Right? Well, it's very obvious that they're not no. nipples no. Uh, in the colored version, but in the pencil line, it, they're, they are floating about where her nipples would be, yeah. but like a little lopsided. Yeah. So yeah, I put that on Instagram and people were like, what, what? <laughs> and I was like, ah, quick, a, quick show the color version. Away with that cover, I, don't think, I think it's in here, actually. Your people want to see. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. I don't think anybody bought it. It's fine. We can edit. So take your time. Okay. Oh, I love that yeah, guy. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, here. It looks yeah. like there are nipples. <laughs> and in the line work, uh, it's even more nipple looking. <laughs> it's pretty nipple looking. Sorry, viewers. The final cover does not render that way. This one is accidentally an adult, an adult video. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. We're, I guess we give you PG-13. Well, and I had, when I sent her, I don't do this all the time, but sometimes it, it, I'm sort of inspired in the beginning. 
when I sent her the sketch for what I wanted to do, I sent it colored. Yeah. And so I had like, I knew that she was going to be, I wanted everything to be really dark and then like bright from behind and then just these glowing gems. Yes. So I knew that it wasn't going to matter the whole time, but I was just like, oh, it looks like something on, else. Yeah, on IG and said, oh, okay. Yeah. Although, I mean, it's tough. It's, it's beautiful even like that, even if they were nipples. But <laughs> they were Interesting nipples. Yeah, well, like kind of thing. Real, uh, oh, no, very shiny. Faceted. Yeah. Faceted nipples. It's a, Razor sharp. It's a fantasy. Yeah. yeah. Very cold in that room. Uh, the, uh, speaking of which, you have a faithless erotica cover coming. I do. There's a nipple on that. I bet there's a nipple on that. Yes. If it's... I feel like mine is pretty tame compared to where I could have gone with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but there's a nipple on it. What was the... I'm actually really curious about the process for all of you that got asked, to, or I don't know if you got asked to do them or if you volunteered to do them. Nope. Um, yeah. They asked, uh, they kind of sent some images for like inspiration of not, um, not specifically of the comic, although they did also send the first issue so I could see like the actual mood of the actual comic, but they right. kind of sent like a mood board of just like, here are some things that uh, sort of contain the mood that we're going for right um and that actually really helped inspire me um more like fashion magazine stuff and just like sort of the feeling of romance but like right. anyway well yeah i mean your work always flirts with that sexuality so is it cooler to finally be able to just do it um and not I've, worry about censoring and all that nonsense i will say this uh i have a icloud album uh that i share with my parents then i just load up every time i finish a cover because I want them to see in real time what I've done, and I can't put it online for them to see it, so I just send it straight to them, right. and I did not put that cover on there. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Make my dad blush. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, little girl, drawing new people. So, but I did send it to my sister. To is that image available for anyone to see yet? Or I don't, yet? I don't know. They, um, they haven't said anything, but I did it. It's been a, a month or so. I think you're issue four, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I think it's issue four. Brian, you can edit I this. I suppose. They can't uh, probably put those in the solicitation catalog, no, so... Can't. Even the eBay listings all have just that. There's a piece of cardboard that just says Faithless Erotica Edition Variant, whatever, and then the artist name. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm not paying close enough attention, or... <laughs> I just never know when anything has been announced, or... Yeah, well, I think Tula did one, too, didn't she? Yeah, I think so, too. And then Vanessa, and I don't know what the other one is. I'm not sure did the third one, so to speak. But cool. Anything else you would like to talk about? Life, art. Mm. I am here at Heroes Con in Charlotte, and I have pet more dogs than I have ever petted at a convention before, and it was great. That's awesome. <laughs> there is a real big dog named Bruce, <laughs> <laughs> and he was so sweet. Uh, Chrissy Zulu has her dog here, and I pet that dog. <laughs> In the yeah. bathroom, uh, I like followed her into the bathroom. I'm like, can I pet your dog? <laughs> um, yeah. If you ever see me at a convention, please bring your dog <laughs> and let me pet your dog. If your dog likes to be pet, I understand they don't all. Yeah. Mine doesn't particularly. So. And speaking of which, two things. One, if you are interested in Jenny's original covers, you can buy them at Cadence Comic Arts. Oh. We're going to be having a panel where we're going to be talking about superhero movies. And then additionally. Probably one of the nicest people at this convention. She will sign every single book that is written from her, which is Correction. Somebody might have broke me at this comic book convention. Broke her, he was real nice, and he, he made it worth boxes. my while. Don't bring six short boxes, <laughs> but like three, four, five comics, fine. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. happy to sign most comics, and I don't generally charge. Yes. Although, he might have broke me. We'll see how things are going forward. And she will not do commissions. No, I have stopped doing commissions, and I'm loving it. It's awesome. Tell us why. Uh, somebody broke me. <laughs> somebody broke me at a convention. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> no. Is that, is that it for the day, you think? Or is there yeah. anything, anything else cool you want to tell us? Um, probably tons of stuff, but I'm not sure what's allowed, so no. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your yeah. time. Have a great show. Yeah, thanks. You too. See you again in a year. -ish. Yeah, maybe, right? Are you doing Memphis this year? No, I don't think so. What is your next show in this sort of uh, general area? Uh, none in this sort of general area. I'll be at, well, Louisville in November. Um, I'm doing a show in Puerto Rico uh, the same weekend as San Diego Comic-Con, so the t July 21st-ish. That's awesome. And those might be my last two shows for the year, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Good. We'll see her there, or get here before 6. Well, before 4. We fly out tonight. Before 4.
<laughs> thank you, Jenny. Bye. Thank you. See you. And there you have it, everyone. That was Jenny Frizen. If you're interested in more information on Jenny, hit up her Instagram page at Jenny Frizen Art. Um, or, of course, if you are interested in buying any of her original covers, you can do so at cadencecomicart.com. I bought a cover from there. They're great to deal with. And uh, I highly recommend trying to get on that stuff now before all of her really great Wonder Woman covers are gone and uh, some of her older art. Um, she continues to put new stuff on there all the time. Um, but either way, there you have it. Hopefully that will satiate everyone for another year until hopefully Jenny and I sit down again next year at some point and catch back up. For now, this has been a special Cover Tunes video session from yours truly and CBSI and Simple Mans. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week.